Hello guys, I'm Rupert, I'm Charlie. Welcome back to another episode. As always, push that like, push that notification button. Today we're doing pork carnitas and we're doing it a really authentic way. So roll that intro and we'll see you guys. So first things first, what we're going to need is a um, half a kilo of pork belly, um, which we've just cut in half and we've taken the skin off and you'll find out in a second why we've done that. And then we're just going to need 250 grams of lard. Lard's really important, don't use butter. Super um, simple. And that's what we need for this first stage of cooking our carnitas. Maybe some salt as well. And some salt, of course, we'll um, add that through our cooking process. Perfect. All right then guys, so just to kick things off, uh, you're going to need a pretty big pot, um, more space the better. Right, so with our meat, we've already cut it in half, that's just going to basically half a cooking time. Um, the bone's still in, really important to have the bone still in. You can use um, shoulder, you can use any kind of the meat, but the belly just being the cheapest and sort of Bones the fattiest. Cool. So now we put some holes in. Yeah, got some reasonable add some holes. Yeah, perfect. So we're nearly three hours. We've got pork belly. The smell is just yeah. Oh, and there's not really there's no spices. It's just that it's just the natural juices from the pork. So bones clean off. Amazing. Literally. So as soon as that, yeah, that's a very good indicator. It's it's done. And just straight onto the board. Right? Straight up onto there. So you can pull the bones out. Perfect. Yeah. Another bone. Oh yeah, it's gonna be cold, is it? So, move those to the side. So what we're gonna do with our meat is get a knife and we're just gonna pretty much just cut it in half. And why are using these huge fucking tongs? Yeah. That's it. Beautiful. So yeah, you can mix in shoulder with the belly, you know, ham hocks, the leg, whatever. And then once you get it down to this bit, it all comes together. Or in Mexico, you even ask for what cut of meat you want, depending on how fatty or how lean you like your meat. And then a bit of salsa. Oh, I'll go with that. 